is the future. Icons, classics, symbols, they all mean something. But what if those icons and classics and symbols were all pieces of shit? Like the T90A, which is especially a hot steaming pile of shit. Don't get me wrong, it's a tank that's somewhat good in its role, but it lacks all the bells and whistles its competitors have, and they are even better at that role. So, what do you do, if you have a RMBT which doesn't feel like a RMBT? It's simple, you don't play it. That's it for this vid. Wait a minute, it can't be over so quickly, it's not, sadly, I will try and show you the good of this tank, but you might see only the bad, unless you're Russian and the T90 is like your whole world for whatever reason, Jesus Christ stop praising a steaming pile of shit, and get yourself a leopard, just do it, you won't regret it, hold up, I'm off the topic here, the T90 is iconic, and it looks like a badass crap, it has mean looking eyes or shtora that glow in the dark when active, and can make enemy ATGMs completely miss you, I never got it to work though. Other than that, a good quality is the low profile, from all the other MBTs in the game, as far as I know, it's the dwarfiest one and other than that, I don't know. The gun is mediocre, the speed and mobility are That's good when you go forward, but if you for some reason decide to go backwards to repair for example, you are completely and utterly fucked. Why? Because for one reason, it has no reverse gear, it's being pushed by 12 Russian gypsies that are on cheap with brand steroids. It actually has a reverse gear, but it has been made by someone who thought that the enemy tanks can go faster than 3 km per hour. The armor is also mediocre, if the Leopard 2 looks at you. You can just explode yourself, because it will insta kill you. Because Germany has the 2A6 which basically has the wrath of gods in its barrel. That is called DM53. Sure you can bounce a few shells if you're lucky, but one good shot. And. You. Are. Dead. 2A6 isn't your only threat, there are also all the other MBTs in the other tech trees which can either insta kill you, or cripple you so bad you wish you had the disabled sticker on your tank. It has the standard Russian tank weak spurts, LFP, driver port and gun breach, oh and if you're a bit angled, tracks, you get it there and you're done. And apparently Russian tanks are the happiest ones, because they have almost no gun depression which makes hull down positions tough to execute. It can be good sometimes though, sometimes, if you get the jump on the enemy you got so, them, unless you're a mistake. bad shot and miss the gunner in which case the enemy will turn to you and kill you. Other than that, sniping is a strength, unless Germany is on the opposing team which will explode you, because DM53 and stuff. I'm sorry that T90's only good quality is, that it looks kinda good, it doesn't excel at anything, it's not good at brawling or sniping, or whatever, unless the enemy is an idiot in which you will have a field day, but most of the time, you have to pray to god, or rely heavily on your team to succeed, the T90 is a support tank, the Abrams or 2A6 can at least, go in alone, and get out alive most of the time. The T90 on the other hand cannot, it is a MBT that's good in the support tank role, because alone it's mediocre to bad, but in a team it can be a beast. On that note, that's it for this vid boys, thanks for watching, if you like this form of suck you should subscribe, like and comment, it would also help, if you tick the bell. Other than that, the T90 is watching you, while you sleep with its glowing eyes, see ya. This video is my own opinion so whatever you think about the specific points which were mentioned is your own thing. Everyone is entitled to their own thinking.